Okay, welcome back. And in this step, we're going to be talking just a little bit about paid content distribution. So there is an entire certification here at Digital Marketer about paid media, about uh, paid traffic. And uh, I encourage you to check that out if you're really looking to get, take a deep dive on, on uh, paid traffic because you know obviously this is just a much bigger topic than than can be covered but as a content marketer you need to understand that you know remember that we talked about this um this initial customer acquisition uh formula here where we've got you know a thousand clicks being sent to a middle of funnel offer here this 60 second blog plan and that it really is a matter of numbers to see whether we can generate enough enough leads um, and um, make enough small initial sales here to cover the cost of our traffic. So remember, we had a thousand clicks at fifty cents a click, all right? And this this uh, this is none of the numbers that I'm using here are completely um, you know are crazy. These are these are fairly average, where you get a fifty percent opt in. So you get 500 leads, okay? So if you got a thousand clicks at 50 cents a click, you generated 500 leads for 500 bucks, right? You had a thousand clicks at 50 cents each, all right? So you spent $500 on paid distribution or paid traffic. You're distributing this 60 second blog plan piece of content that you built as a content marketer and it cost you $500 and you got 500 new leads. Okay, now you make those 500 leads uh, a small offer that that is $10 and 10% of them take it. And so you have 50 buyers at $10 each and you have 500 in revenue. So you now have liquidated the cost of your traffic, your paid distribution. All right, so um, the results are that in this case, this is sort of the ideal scenario, you know, you have 500 new leads, 50 new buyers, and you didn't spend anything, all right? And, you, you know, in the real world, you're probably either going to go a little negative there or you're going to go a little positive, make a little money. Um, but the point is that if you really want to pour gasoline onto your good, great content that you're creating as a content marketer, you need to take a look at a paid uh, at paid distribution. You need to force eyeballs onto your uh, top of funnel and middle of funnel content. And so, you know, I've just got a couple of examples here. You can see, you know, here on our on our Facebook page, um, we've got a blog post here, three simple email campaigns that drive revenue. You know, at Facebook, they make it real easy to pay for distribution of your content. You just click this boost post button and, uh, you know, this interface may change by the time you're watching this video, but suffice it to say that Facebook is very excited for you to pay them to distribute your content. And if you're doing it the right way, you're, you're setting up retargeting like we talked about earlier, which is also covered in, in more depth in the paid traffic certification. Or, you know, and you're, and you're ascending people from your top of funnel content into middle of funnel content and then ascending them from middle of funnel into bottom of funnel. And you're, you're understanding how this all works, then absolutely you are ready to, to start throwing gas on the fire. In other words, forcing eyeballs onto your great content. So remember earlier we talked about, is good content important? You know, And that's kind of how we started out the certification. Absolutely is. So if you're going to go out there and use paid distribution to your content, you better make sure that you've got the content right. You know, you're using the things that we talked about in um, in this certification to make sure your content is good and that it meets your business goals. And if you've got those two sort of check boxes check marked, you know, you understand how to how the content is going to ascend people from one step to the next until you've gotten gone from traffic to lead to sale and then to high ticket sale, um, then absolutely start experimenting with forcing people to your content using paid distribution because you will get traffic if you cut a check for it. And if you know the content is good and that you are following up properly with good retargeting and that you're able to ascend people with your content from step to step, it's an absolutely something to do. Now take a look at this one on the right. You know, I typed into Google how to grow a business. 
um, and I get this little ad. Are you growing your business? We can help with the pitfalls. Get the top 10 mistakes. This is a free ebook, it looks like. So this is a middle of funnel offer from Colonial Life that they are willing to pay money for people to go and download this free ebook. And the reason they're willing to do it is because they know that some percentage of people that download that pre- that piece of content that their content marketer created will convert into buyers. And that's what this is all about, guys. So this is a perfect step for us to end this certification on is that once you understand all of the things that we've gone through in this certification from designing you know, the right goals that meet your organization's needs to picking the right types of content to um, setting up the metrics that you can use to measure it and understanding how, how content can be used at all stages of the funnel uh, from the top all the way down to the bottom. When you add a paid strategy to this understanding, you will see tremendous results. And uh, so if you're interested in taking that a step further, I would encourage you to check out the uh, paid traffic certification as well. All right, so with that, let's move on to the last step of the certification.